said a couple of things. Uh, the day itself may have been smooth and peaceful with voting, um, but I think there were a lot of concerns in the lead up to uh, the process in terms of the voter roll and the transparency, the independence of the Electoral Commission, for, for example. Now, no one of those things might be enough to make it not a credible election, um, but those undermine the, uh, the perception of integrity of the process. Then when you come to the vote count, and this happens not just in Zimbabwe, it happens everywhere, that when the delay between the votes coming in and the uh, announcement being made is prolonged, tensions grow, rumors flow. Uh, you may have gotten results from one area of the country first, and then everybody thinks, OK, we're winning. And this happened that uh, MDC perhaps thought, well, we, we've got the edge here. And then the rural votes came in, and it was more balanced. Now, I don't know what the final tally is. But the longer that that process goes on, particularly in an atmosphere that is already kind of infused with tension and distrust, I think that's when people begin to say, well, what is happening behind closed doors? And you have to remember that in the past, when there have been really protracted delay between the vote and the announcement, very bad things happened in Zimbabwe. And uh, you had uh, a lot of shenanigans happening in, the, in 2008, for example, where uh, it was fairly clear that the MDC had the edge. And then there was a whole lot of in intimidation mm -hmm. and uh, manipulation uh, and come out the other side. And, and it, they, they went to a runoff. So I think this is a very dangerous moment. The pressures on the Electoral Commission uh, to announce quickly, to get over some of these tensions is intense, but they also want to get it right. There's tension from people in the street. There's tension from electoral monitors mm -hmm. and so forth. Um, we don't know, though, why, why it is taking so long. That's a reason I think that there needs to be a whole lot more communication coming from the government about what is exactly happening. You know, you have three critical phases to an election. You have the integrity of the process, you have transparency of the process so that people can see that, and then the credibility of the process. And those are all linked, um, but you need communication of what is happening uh, to, to people at large to ensure that this process is transparent and credible and has integrity. Mm.